lot of behind the scenes, this time from the Star Wars video, The Force Awakens Stop Motion. One of the coolest things about this video was the natural set I found, it was a river nearby my area. This is the perfect set to film my video. I set the camera into a selfie stick and I started filming right away. I got some cool dynamic shots under the logs, on the corners on the river and so on. I had to film this pretending that there was a ship on the shot, so I had to make it very fluid, very dynamic and some of the shots were hard to make. So I was filming here in this beautiful set and I just stepped into the mood and I had my full feet wet. Cool. Once I got the shots that I needed, I had to film on the green screen. I tried my best to match the movements of the ship with the background video. The light had to be in the same position as the video in the background so it makes sense. I did film a lot of extra clips that didn't make it into the final video. But they have a lot of shots so I can make a sequel. So, let me know in the comments if you would like me to do that. Once I got the background video and the ship, all I had to do was to remove the green screen. Well, not really. I had to remove the poles that are supporting the ship so it looks like it's really flying. And this is a time consuming process. I have to do this for all of the ships that appear on the scene, add some glowing effects for the engine and maybe some explosions. But after that the result is pretty good. And you get something like this. Watch it, you've got one on your tail. Because of the size of the toys, I couldn't get my camera inside of the cockpit. So I had to edit an image that I found on the internet and make the windows transparent. I did the same for the Thai pilot, but the quality of the image was better and you can tell. When I was searching on the internet I found this window from the inside to the outside, so I had to use it for another cool shot that it came out pretty well. I'm going to break down for you some of the effects compositions. I have to film a clear background where the action is going to take place. Then I film each of the ships moving according to the background video. Once I got all the videos I have to put them together to see how it looks. I have to mix the timing of the videos and I have to play with the scales and the rotations of the camera and so on. Those white things on the background are the masks. Even though they are not in the final video they have to be animated on each keyframe. So now we can see the ships without my hands. Then I added the engine effects. A lot of blaster shots. We have to kill some rebels so we have some explosions. And that was pretty much how this video was made, I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to explain some particular part of the video that you don't see here. I have been holding a lot for some tutorials but I promise I will make them. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want to see more. Check out the 5k subs video that is going to be appearing on my channel very soon. This is a collaboration project that I made with a lot of other animators, so don't forget to show them some support as well. Spider sense is tingling.